Welcome to my channel, Brainies. Today we are going to discuss about the topic dermatomes and myotomes. Let us just see the dermatomes and myotomes in detail. What is a dermatome? It is nothing but an area of skin which is supplied by a single spinal nerve. There are eight cervical nerves except C1 which doesn't have dermatome, 12 thoracic nerves, 5 lumbar nerves, and five sacral nerves. Each of these spinal nerves relays sensation from a particular area of the skin to the brain. What is a myotome? A group of muscle which is supplied by a single spinal nerve is known as a myotome. Totally there are 31 spinal nerves that is 8 cervical nerves, 12 thoracic, 5 lumbar, 5 sacral and 1 coccygeal nerve. 16 out of these 31 nerves as a specific myotome that controls the voluntary muscle movement. Let us just see the dermatomal level. This is a picture depicting the dermatomal level. C2. C2 just supplies approximately 1 to 2 cm lateral to the occipital protuberance. You could see it in the diagram. This is the level of the C2. C3, it is the supraclavicular fossa in the midclavicular line. So this is the level of C3. So you could see the C3 level and C4 over the acromioclavicular joint, C4 level over the acromioclavicular joint and C5 level, it is the lateral aspect of the lower part of the deltoid muscle. So you could see it in the diagram which is the lateral part of the lower aspect of the deltoid muscle. So next is the C6 that is the palmar side of the thumb, C6, C7, C8 you can just see it. All these things supplies the palmar side of the thumb, middle finger and little finger. You could see it in the diagram depicting the C6 thumb, C7 middle finger and C8 little finger. T1 level which is the medial aspect of the cubital fossa which is proximal to the medial epicondyle of the humerus. So this is that. So you could see it in the diagram the level of the T1. Right. So let us just shift to the next level that is the T2 level that is the thoracic level T2 that is at the level of the apex of the axilla you could see it in the diagram. This is the diagram depicting the dermatomes of the trunk. So T2 at the level of the apex of the axilla and T3 if you just see it it is an intersection of the mid clavicular line and third intercostal space. Here you could see it it is the intersection point of the mid clavicular line and the third intercostal space and T4 it is again the intersection of the mid clavicular line and it is the fourth intercostal space you could see it in the diagram and T5 is the level of the intercostal space that is intersection of the mid clavicular line and fifth intercostal space so this is the level T5 and T6 it is the intersection of the mid clavicular line and the horizontal level of the xiphoid process so this is the level of the T6 level. So T7, it is the intersection of the midclavicular line and the horizontal level of one quarter of the distance between the xiphoid process and the level of the umbilicus. So you could see it in the diagram. It is the distance between the umbilicus and this T7 level, approximately one quarter of the distance. So that is about the T7 level. And moving on to the next one, which is the T8 level which is again lies at the level of the almost all the thoracic dermatome lies at the level of the intersection of the midclavicular line and of course T8 lies at the level of the horizontal level at one half of the distance between the xiphoid process and the level of umbilicus. Previously in T7 I would have told you it is one quarter of the distance between xiphoid and level of umbilicus. Here it is one half of the distance. Here you could see it between the T8 and the umbilicus level. You could see the next one which is a T9 which is the intersection of the midclavicular line and horizontal level between the xiphoid process and the level of umbilicus approximately it is three quarters of the distance. Here you could see it. It is a three quarters of the distance and T10 is the intersection of the midclavicular line exactly at the level of the umbilicus. T10 usually say we will say it, at, uh, it is at the level of umbilicus. Next it is T11. It is the intersection of the midclavicular line at the horizontal level between the level of umbilicus and the inguinal ligament. 
so this is between the umbilicus and the inguinal ligament and the next is t12 it is the midpoint of the inguinal ligament so we are moving on to the dermatomes of the lower limb that is the l1 l2 l3 l4 l5 so l1 is the inguinal region so let me just show the diagram depicting this so here this is the l1 level this is the l2 level this is l3 l4 comes in the medial side and l5 comes in the lateral side and s1 at the level of the lateral aspect of the calcaneus and s2 comes here and this s2 continues in the posterior aspect of also which carries above through the popliteal fossa and thereby extends up to the gluteal crease so let me just explain you this this is l1 at the level of inguinal region you could just side by side compare the diagram and study l2 at the level of the lateral aspect of the anterior thigh l3 at the level of medial epicondyle of the femur and l4 at the level of the medial malleolus you could see it in the diagram and l5 at the level of the dorsum of the foot that is at the level of third mtp joint metatarsophalangeal joint so coming back to the s1 you could see it at the level of the lateral aspect of the calcaneus as i told you s2 at the midpoint of the popliteal fossa it starts from here it just carries on and just goes to the level of the popliteal fossa s3 at the level of the horizontal crease that is a crease which is formed by the inferior aspect of the buttock and the posterior aspect of the upper thigh and the S4 and S5 region covering the perianal area. So let us just move on to the myotome. As I told you, what is myotome? It is nothing but myotome is a group of muscle which is supplied by a single spinal nerve. So this is these are the myotomes of the upper limb. C1 supplies, produces the flexion of the upper region, that is upper cervical flexion. C2 produces upper cervical extension. C3 produces cervical lateral flexion. C4 produces shoulder elevation, C5 produces shoulder abduction, C6 produces elbow flexion along with wrist extension, C7 produces elbow extension, C8 produces thumb extension and with wrist ulnar deviation, T1 produces finger abduction. And the chest wall and abdominal muscles covers the level of the T2 to L1. So let us just move on to the last part of the section that is the myotomes of the lower extremity. L2 produces hip flexion, L3 produces knee extension, L4 produces ankle dorsiflexion, L5 produces grade 2 extension and S1 produces ankle plantar flexion and S2 produces knee flexion. So that's it with the dermatomes and myotomes. This is an essential part in anatomy. It is mandatory to learn this. Thank you so much for watching. Kindly support by subscribing and sharing. Meet you all in next video. Thank you once again.